Triple O is a tool for deploying and managing OpenStack. Part of that process is verifying that it's in fact possible to install on the system where you're trying to deploy it. That's what the Triple O Validations Project does. Let's start with introduction. Tell us who you are and uh, what project you work on. Sure. Um, my name is Florian Fuchs. I work for Red Hat um, on the OpenStack team on the Triple O project, which is a deployment tool of OpenStack. And I've done work mainly on the Triple O UI web interface, and recently mostly on Triple O validations, which is a set of checks that you can uh, perform as part of the deployment process. During the last six months, during the Queen cycle, what have you been working on? Well, so one thing we, we always do is to add more of these checks to uh, with, with every release cycle. So, um, so the idea is that um, before you start a deployment, you can uh, perform these checks, these validations, and see if there are any prerequisites that are, aren't met, anything that might make a deployment go wrong. This could be anything from simple hardware requirements that aren't there, there um, configuration things like if you configure overlapping networks and things like that. There are a couple of things that we have already have, and there are always new things that we add. So for instance, like in the last cycle, we added more networking checks and a couple of uh, plugins that um, these uh, validations can use uh, to um, to query um, API data from 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 OpenStack to make to perform these checks and so forth. And we also added a couple of uh, pre-upgrade validations, so, uh, validations that you can run before you upgrade your OpenStack cloud to see if, if um, anything is already unhealthy or. Um, things like that. Are these validations specific to the kind of deployment that someone's trying to do, or they're just sort of general minimum requirements? There are numerous very different validations. I, like I said, some hardware things like things are the minimum uh, requirements for your hardware to perform the deployment itself. Uh, then generic things like, um, of course, like software configuration things. Um, the idea behind the Triple Validations project is that we um, we chose as a kind of language for uh, for the validation we chose Ansible playbooks. So it's not like we hard coded these validations into uh, the Triple O code base, but we chose Ansible. Um, well, first of all, because it's a good tool to uh, connect to different servers like like the the, the OpenStack Cloud um, nodes but also because it's kind of a very common tool um, to write, to write, um, to perform any kinds of um, actions on these, on these nodes. Um, and that's, this makes it very easy to write your own validations if, if you want to. Like we have these generic ones, but uh, you could, it, it's possible to write your own validations if you have some very unique um, circumstances when you deploy your open cloud. Do you, do you see uh, operators doing that? Do you have war stories from the trenches of people doing these sorts of specific validations? Yeah, so um, so far we mostly get requests for new validations. And um, so this is a good thing because we, we see that uh, people actually run these validations and uh, there's this thing that I encountered that could be ch could have been checked beforehand and why not write a validation for that? So one thing that we want to tackle in the coming cycle is, um, in the upcoming cycle, is make it easier to create, um, to upload your uh, your own validations. Um, for instance, the validations, you can run them from the command line, You can, but they are also pretty well integrated into the triple web interface, where you have like um, a sidebar where you, can, where you can see all the validations and their status and some descriptions of them. And we want to make it easier to actually integrate your own validations into this, into into the UI or in, into the overall system. Okay, and I've seen that in the in the demo. I've seen the, the little status things that show yeah. the validations. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I wasn't aware that you could provide your own. That's really cool. Yeah, that's the that's the work that we're currently starting. So at the moment, it's 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 possible if you have if you have access to your uh, to the undercloud and you can just 
write your own playbooks and run them because Triple O comes with this um, dynamic inventory that gives you uh, access to all the hosts. And Triple Validations comes with these um, plugins for more complex validations, API access, and so forth. So you can use the, those tools and just write your playbook, but um, at the moment it's not so easy to integrate this in, into the UI or even upload your own validations through the UI. What else do you have on your plate for the Rocky cycle? We're probably adding, going to be adding more network-related checks, then add a couple of features that have been requested new validations, and then while doing the work to make custom validations um, easier to integrate, also update the documentation to focus more on validations authors like operators who want to know how, you know, what tools are available available for me to write my own validations. If people want to get involved in this project, where can they find you? The name of the project is Triple Validations. It's an official OpenStack project. And um, we're on IFC on um, hashtag triple O. Um, my name is Florian Fuchs, Florian F, is my nickname. And um, yeah, that's a good and of course, on the open sector development, I think it's the third triple O hashtag. Perfect. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for much. your time, and good luck in your, your meetings this week and in the coming cycle. Yeah, thank you too.